हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स सी टी एस इलियट एज अ क्रिटिक इलियट इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट नेम इन मॉडर्निस्ट क्रिटिसिजम इज अनडाउटेडली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्प्रेसिव थियोरिस्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर बट आयरनिकली इलियट इज नॉट अ सिस्टमेटिक थियोरिस्ट because theory is by product of his creative writing he said that the best the best critic of the poetry is poet he was a poet first then critic that's why t.s eliot as a critic is closely related with t.s eliot as a poet and dramatist t.s eliot was a great strategist His most of the statements were strategic, strategic statements. He continuously charged, continuously changed his statements as time passed. He was evolving himself. He was engaged in eleven-year debate with John Middleton Murray. This was a very significant thing. in his early career when he was young in order to become a great critic he started opposing john middleton murray because murray was already a well known critic because murray supported romanticism so eliot began supporting classicism because murray almost worshiped shakespeare therefore t s eliot began opposing shakespeare Eliot formulated a lot of theory because he was in the opposition of G.M. Murray. All these things made him a remarkable theorist. He was a very intelligent man. Eliot believed that the best critic of the poetry is poet. Murray should not be taken seriously because he was not a poet. as eliot said about the critic of poetry eliot called himself a classicist but murray said that you cannot be classicist because you had written the waste land eliot did not agree with murray he kept on defending himself by saying himself classicist after two decades he admitted that he was not entirely classicist so eliot said something only to oppose mare eliot wrote very much about impersonality because romantic poet writes about his feelings and emotions after some time t s eliot said that personality is very important think of a poet his theory is by product of his creative and debate with mare he cancelled all the critics who were not poets he believed in poet critics like st colry john red and etc etc yes eliot said hamlet is an artistic failure after several years eliot said that hamlet cannot be artistic failure because it is an successful play on the stage he said so to get the attention of people according to t.s eliot that poet is successful who can find right symbols to convey his emotions according to eliot in macbeth shakespeare found right symbols but in hamlet shakespeare did not find right symbols therefore hamlet is an artistic failure according to eliot on the other hand hamlet is considered to be the greatest play of shakespeare t s eliot tried to look at poets very carefully as well as about dramatist eliot's mind work historically for him western literature started from homer he looked the connection from homer to his contemporary writers others did not look like him every new author is linked with homer according to eliot every new writer is a link in that chain
His theory of creation is very important. He believed that creation is an evolution. He talked about Europe in his famous essay, Tradition and the Individual Talent. He tells that without tradition, a writer is useless and only become tradition is also useless. A writer must add something to tradition. For Eliot, tradition is very significant and individual talent is also very important. Now therefore tradition gives impersonality to a writer. Tradition gives some kind of order in writing. T.S. Eliot also tried to adopt William Wordsworth to write his poetry. His theory is very convincing on his own. T.S. Eliot is one of the modern poets. T.S. Eliot tried to separate the meaning of tradition from the past. For him, tradition is something that involves a historical sense. The poet must have a historical sense. According to T.S. Eliot, a poet must have sense of the past and due to that, what is happening in the present how the past lives on present. Some features of the past should come in the present that constitute the meaning of the tradition. Thank you.